Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from in-depth tech reviews and here is Google Apps updates roundup number 24 and in this video I'm going to share with you some exciting features. So without further ado, let's jump in. Before talking about the new features, if you like my new Android 12 widgets and wallpapers, expect a video to be released very soon explaining to you how you can do the same on any Android device. But for now, let's see what's new with Google Apps. Let's start with the phone app. And the Google finally added the caller ID announcement feature that you can locate under settings. And here you will see a new item called caller ID announcement. When you go inside, you will see here announce caller ID. Tapping on it will give you three different options, either always, only when using a headset or never. Keep in mind, if you have the feature activated, it will only work if your phone is set to the normal sound profile and don't expect it to work if you are setting your phone on vibrate or silent. In contrast, the feature will always work if you are wearing headphones. Next, Google Chrome. And now when you try to share a web page, you will see a new screenshot button in the share sheet. Tapping on it will take the screenshot and open it in a brand new image editor right within Google Chrome. From here, you can crop the image like this. You can also add text using your keyboard and it will give you plenty of colors to choose from. Once the text is added, you can resize it using this handle and also rotate it. You can duplicate the text using the other one. And finally, you can clear text using the X at the top right corner. Once you are done, you can tap on the text sign. And the final tap is called draw. And here you can use your free hand. It will also allow you to change the brush size and the color. And finally, once you are done with all the edits you want, you have the next button at the top right corner. Tapping on it will give you three options. The first option is called share this screenshot. This option will share the screenshot without saving it to your phone's gallery. And that will be very useful for people who take a lot of screenshots and don't want their phone gallery to be messy over time. The second option is called save to device. When you tap on it, it will download the image and you will find it under the downloads folder. And the final option is called delete. Before jumping to the next category, let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, cdkoffers.com. From CDK Offers, you can purchase original Microsoft Windows 10 and Office keys in a very discounted price. Not only this, but you can also use my special promo code ID20 to get extra 20% discount. As you see, you can get yourself a Windows 10 OEM key for $16.18, which is insanely cheap. Please check the links in the description below. Now let's get back to the review. Next, Google Messages. And the first change is the new Emoji Picker. Tapping on it will show you three different tabs, one for emojis, one for GIFs, and one for stickers, and all of them use the same search bar at the top. Under emojis, you will see they are categorized exactly the same way, so there is nothing new here. But when we go to GIFs, you will see they are also categorized and each category is labeled, so you can easily navigate between them. But this is not everything. When you go inside any of the categories, you will see some suggestions at the top that will help you narrow down your search without even touching the keyboard. And these suggestions are related to your original search query, which is dance. So for example, here it will show you even more specific types of GIFs like happy dance, funny dance, couple dance, and so on. Tapping on any of them will replace whatever you have in the search field with the new suggested query. You can also see another level of suggestions to keep digging deeper in the GIFs and when you choose it for the second time, that's when the suggestions will stop. And in this case, you can simply use the keyboard. So that's everything under GIFs. Now let's take a look at the stickers. And here you will get three sub tabs. The first one is Recents. The second one is Favorites. And here you will be able to see your favorite packs. So you can pick any of the stickers you want. Or under All Packs, you can see all the packs you can possibly use. And from here, you can also set any of them as your favorite or pick the sticker you want. And the second change is under the plus sign. And here you will no longer see the same GIF and stickers sections like in the old design of Google Messages here on my S21 Ultra. And by this, all the options are visible without the need to scroll down. Next, YouTube. And now we got a new redesigned description card for videos. Tapping on it will first show you the number of likes, the number of views, and the publish date in a much bigger font compared to the one we have over here. Not only this, but when you scroll all the way down, you will get quick access to the video chapters in a carousel for easier navigation. 
that will be much easier to access than tapping on the very small text on top of the seek bar. You can also tap on the view all button and that will give you even bigger space to navigate between them. And if you are playing the video and not sure which one you are currently watching, you can tap on sync to video time and it will highlight it for you. But unfortunately, this feature crashes the whole YouTube app on Android 12 beta 1. But for example, here I have it on my S21 Ultra running Android 11. And when I tap on sync to video time, it works as expected. Next, Google app. And the first change is under the discover feed. If you have any YouTube video in the list, it will start playing automatically without any audio. And when you keep it for a while, it will show you a new button called continue watching. So let me show you how it looks. And here you go. This is the continue watching button. And when you tap on it, it will continue playing the video in a separate screen. You can also tap on the title to open the video in YouTube. The second change in Google app is the ability to delete the last 15 minutes of your activity. And this feature was first announced in Google's IO and I found it to be available only on my iPhone 12 Pro Max for the time being. Next, the Pixel Buds app on Android 12 will now show you the remaining battery life in hours instead of using only percentages. And if you take a look closely, you'll see both are fully charged, but one of them is showing less time than the other. And that makes sense because Google mentioned that one of the buds will usually do extra work and that's why its battery will die faster. Next, Google Play Store. And it got a redesigned My Apps screen. I already talked about this change in my Android 12 beta one video because I thought this change is related to Android 12 but it ended up to be available for everyone on Android 11 and earlier versions as well. So if you missed this part, you can click the link showing now on the screen and jump to the Play Store chapter to know more about the new change. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I spotted in Google Apps starting from the 13th of May up until today. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.